Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a brake master cylinder. This is going to be applicable to, well, pretty much all cars that use hydraulic brake systems, and uh, this is most um, applicable to the 88 to 98 Chevy and GMC pickups. Also, this will apply to Blazers, uh, Jimmys, and Suburbans, and the like. So uh, I'm going to try to speed some of my videos up because you guys don't need to see me really take a nut here and a nut here off. So I'm going to go over the quick steps. Um, the reason that I'm replacing this is because I have a slight leak right there at that grommet. This is the factory original master cylinder and it's um, due to the amount of garbage that was in here. The pedal's sinking a little bit on the floor and... Um, these aren't that expensive, they're like 60 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it and show you how to do that. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go with the engine off, you wanna go inside the truck or a vehicle that you're working on and press on the brake pedal four or five, six times till it gets really hard. That will relieve the vacuum pressure in the brake booster. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna get your turkey baster or extractor, remove all the fluid from the reservoir. At that time, you want to go ahead, and I've already loosened the lines. Uh, this happens to be uh, I got nine sixteenths and a half inch line. You want to remove both of those, and then you want to remove the nuts. There should be two nuts holding the master cylinder to the brake booster. Uh, on this truck, it's a fifteen millimeter. You want to do that, and that will allow the master cylinder to be pulled away from the brake booster. All right, so. Once you have your lines loose, just take them loose from the master cylinder. You've already drained this. I'm gonna take these two nuts off. Okay, this whole assembly is gonna slide out and this master cylinder and reservoir just slide right out. This is the piston, and that's pretty much all there is to that. At this point, we want to put our, I'm going to just put this back on the studs, just so it doesn't stress the brake lines. Uh, at this point, I'm going to show you how to bench bleed a master cylinder. You can't just take a new master cylinder and slap it on here, because there's air inside there, you need to bleed it. I'm gonna show you how to do that, and we're gonna do that inside the garage. All right, excuse the mess here, but I have a brand new master cylinder. This one happens to come from Napa. And it's got everything that you need. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a procedure called bench bleeding. Um, and I'm going to take the master cylinder here and just very gently put it in the vise, like so. All right. I'm going to pop the cap off here. So what we want to do is we want to put this level. Now we need to get our bleeder set. I'm going to be using uh, the Dorman. I was going to make my own, but it just didn't work out. I couldn't get all the pieces that I needed. So in each port, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a half by 20. Put in this port. And then there should be should be half by twenty. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That one's a bigger one. This one's nine sixteenths by twenty. Okay. So there's a lot of different fittings in here. Just find the one that fit. 
Okay, so I've got that in there. I'm going to just tighten it up just a little bit with some pliers. Just so it doesn't leak. All right. Then I'm going to take the piece of hose. Now, why they um, use black hose and not clear is beyond me. It seems ridiculous, but... There's two pieces of hose in here. And you're basically just going to put the end of the hose on the end of the fitting. Okay. And then take the other hose. Put on the other fitting. Okay. And then inside here is a little clip, or two little clips. And we're just going to put that on the side of each reservoir, like that, okay? And then we're going to have this hose pressed in the clip so that it's submerged in the brake fluid. I'll give you all a close-up in a minute of how this is set up. Okay, so that's it. All right, so we've got each fitting and each port. We've got the clip on either side, and the hoses go down and like that. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to fill the master cylinder up with some fluid enough to um, maybe an inch or so and then we're going to depress this you don't want to use a screwdriver you want to use something rounded if you can uh, I'm going to use probably a end of a valve or something that's not sharp in case it slips it's not going to damage the bore all right my favorite Brake fluid is the Techstar DOT4. It has a higher boiling point than the three, so I'm just going to put some in both reservoirs. Enough so that it's about an inch or so over the end of the hose. Okay, now. I have an old valve right here. And the tip is nice and uh, it's not sharp. So I'm just going to barely, just barely depress this uh, cylinder. Okay. Now it's... Just pushing it in about an inch or so. And there's no leakage here, and I'll bring you in close so you can see what it's doing. Okay, I'm going to try to do this so it's steady. Now, if you did not do this bench bleeding procedure, then all this air would be going through your front and rear brake lines and it would take forever to get it out. So I'm just doing it. I'm only pushing this in maybe an inch or so. And I'm just going to keep doing this till there's no more bubbles. So you get the idea. Alright, so I have the master cylinder completely bled. And I have some plugs on here.
seven of studs. Well, actually, let me do this. Just let that sit there for a minute. But if you'll put this, put the lines on and get them started by hand before you bolt it up, it'll be much easier to get the lines in because the uh, master cylinder has a little bit of play before it's bolted. Okay, all that's left for you to do is to bleed the front and rear brakes and uh, check for any leaks. I've already cleaned everything off with the brake parts cleaner just so I can uh, when I pressurize everything. I want to make sure there's no leaks at any of the fittings and adjust the brake fluid and we're done.